Okay, time to speedrun. For when you want to clear your <laughs> apple dungeon really fast. Bring the classic big tree. Except this time, instead of bringing Ting Tang, I'm gonna bring Wakashu. Because Wakashu actually, uh, wow, he has a stone skill on Cloud Burst. And as we all know, Cloud Cutter is a build different skill that attacks like four times. And this boss does do a lot of action. So actually, if you bring a bleed team, you could probably melt this boss really fast. Unfortunately, I don't have like Ryoshu, uh, the Wakashu version. So I can't really build a bleed team, but I'll just bring along my, my big clashers here, big damage dealers, as well as uh, Wakashu here. Okay, let's see. Did we get purple skill? Uh, we did not get the fragile application, so I guess we're not getting a speed run. But if we get the purple skill on turn one, you could probably shred through all of his health really fast. Okay, yeah. Um, it's basically win rate gaming with uh, this kind of team. No matter what you do, you're you're set up to just win every single clash here. Yeah, as you can see, Cloud Burst there did a lot. Oh, this is gonna do quite comparable damage actually because of a tree coin. Alright, turn one. Nice. Okay, we're going to do damage turn like this. Everything looks fine to me. Oh, we got another pull blade. Mmm, pull blade damage is so good. Alright, we should go into second phase now. Alright, second phase activated. Now it's just win rate gaming. So the goal here is to break one of his body parts. If you break the head, then you can just target the head and kill him really fast. Come on, Cloud Cutter, no! Okay, fine. I guess we have to live with that one. I'm gonna pop myself in Ego here. Alright, head's broken. Head broken, you just target the staggered part with all of your highest hitting damage and the fight should be over. If you wanted, you could actually do something like the shark fight, where you uh, just ignore the rest of the body and go for the head. Once the head breaks, then you just target the head with all your highest damage and you should be able to half health it. Unfortunately, this guy is pretty healthy no matter what you do, so it is pretty difficult to one-shot him without uh, some form of fragile or, uh, or uh, any damage multipliers, damage bonuses. Okay, I'm not even gonna really look at this too much. The win rate gaming should just win for me. I think really unlucky on those uh, rolls for home game. Oh, run out of ammo. 
Alright. Pretty simple. Uh, okay then, I guess I can only see the top 3 DPS's here. Honglu lost a lot of his clashes, so he didn't do that much damage. Maybe bringing Ting Tang would be okay, would be better, because Ting Tang's shank is still pretty significant. But yeah. I mean, Otis catching up is pretty impressive, honestly. It's because she has Pull Blade, and if you actually use Pull Blade a lot more, you'll be able to get a ton of damage out. But yeah, that's the wheel clear. Not too, not too much to think about, you can just win raid your way through. Pretty easy boss, overall. I'm looking forward to Telepole. Next, uh, tomorrow is uh, Alleyway Watchdog, which is the Telepole Ego, basically. I heard it's quite challenging, so uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Alright, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.